Hello, my name is Mrs. Naga. I'm the sixth grade counselor at Palm Springs Middle School. And I wanna welcome all of the incoming sixth graders for the school year 2020. I'm going to start letting you know about the schedule in middle school since you're going to have six classes, six periods. Four of those six classes are considered their core classes, which is math, English language arts, world history, and science. Two of the other two classes will be elective classes, could be PE, which is physical education, band, chorus, dance. Students are required to attend all of their six classes online, virtually. So students are expected to log in and be present in each period. Students will be marked absent if they're not present in their classes, and they will also be marked tardy. And we have a twinsy policy which says that students should not have, should not be more than 10 times absent in the entire school year. So if the child needs to be absent because they are sick or they have a doctor's appointment, make sure that the school gets a notification of such accents so that the absence can be excused. Now, how do you excuse the absence? You write a note, you know, and it can be emailed to our, to our school, to our grade level secretary or to me, which I'm the counselor or the AP, Mr. Paris. So if you still need to register your sixth grader into our school, there's three options that you have to turn in the registration paperwork. One, it's online. You can download the documents on our website online and submit them online. You can print out the paperwork and drop it off at, at the school. The other option is you can submit the registration paperwork um, through our website. You can schedule parent-teacher conferences by letting us know, by letting me know, the counselor. So you can either call me via phone or you can send me an email requesting a, a teacher conference with all of the teachers and I'll arrange the conference. So this conference will take place online via Google Meet and the conferences have to be scheduled at 8.40 in the morning before classes start. The teacher conferences may be requested by you, the parent, or it may be requested by the teacher as well. So if, even though students are not coming to school in person, it is a very good idea and we suggest that the students still have school supplies. Like, so you can monitor the student's grade in each class through SIS. Through the student portal or as a parent, you can request a parent code and you can download the SIS app so that you monitor the students' grades, um, I suggest like in a weekly basis. Regarding dress code, there is not a dress code per se when the students attend class online, but students are required to be presentable, which means very important that parents and students stay in touch and communicate it with their teachers with me, their counselor, and with the assistant principal. Please be posting a counseling service um, Google Classroom page with all of our guidance counseling um, services and how to get a hold of me. Good afternoon, Stingrays. I'm Mr. Perez, your sixth grade assistant principal with a few reminders regarding the start of the new 2020 to 2021 school year. Uh, from a remote setting, August 31st. Please remember that the school day starts at 9.20 and ends at 4.05. All students are expected to be on time to all classes. Tardies will be given. Provide an excuse note for absences. And remember, every day, every period. SIS pins are typically sent out in social science classes. It is important that you make sure to monitor your own progress, and it is also important for the parents to keep track of grades in SIS. This way, midterm grades and even final grades may not come as much of a surprise. We wanna make sure everybody has more than enough time to make their work up, and more importantly, 
to get those grades that they are capable of achieving. Piggybacking on what Ms. Isnaga said regarding dress code, here's a little bit of information pertaining to t-shirt sales. So t-shirts are $10, long sleeve t-shirts are $12, and remember no ripped jeans, acid wash, etc. We're thinking of natural colors, uh, khakis, regular jeans. Hoodies are $20, and students will have clear or mesh backpacks. And most importantly, no earbuds around the neck during instruction. We want to make sure that everybody is at full attention and ready to receive their lessons for the day. Now, in this environment, it is unique, and students are not necessarily required to be in dress code, but they are required to be presentable. So remember, no pajamas or anything like that. We're still in some sort of a routine, and we are still going to school. Uh, not to mention, it is of the utmost importance to stay in contact with teachers and administration regarding any questions, comments, and or concerns that you may have. In regards to scheduled lunch times, please speak with your second hour teachers who will give you your assigned lunch breaks throughout the year. Parents, please be sure to download the Palm Beach Schools app this will serve as a good reminder for some of the goings-on at school, uh, various deadlines, etc.